This is a public service announcement pertaining directly to this YouTube channel. As we move along and learn about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, our knowledge base builds. I'm no exception to this rule. A little over a year ago, via study and also via conversations with my mentor and grammar tutor and friend and brother, colon Raven, hyphen Farhad, hyphen Tohidi, colon Eferin, I came to the conclusion that there is a consistent way to verify, certify, and confirm whether a term, a word, is tangible contract or non-tangible contract we were able to establish a consistent baseline with which to credential these terms as tangible or non-tangible that anyone could use. And if you choose to participate with this continuance of the evidence, your syntax is going to be the same and consistent with, congruent with other people's syntax. And there'll be no room for argument because when the facts are in place, there can be no argument. I outlined this in a video, the method to do this, to certify tangibility or non-tangibility, in a video in February of 2021, which I'll leave a link to up here. Now, having said that, any video prior to February 2021, you may find certain terms syntax on my channel as non-tangible that with this new method, this consistent and certifiable method of determining tangibility or non-tangibility, it was not in place then. So therefore, these syntax values are incorrect. It's an easy fix. Now, I could either go back and fix every single one of those videos, or I can publish this public service announcement and leave it up to you, the viewer, to make those corrections for yourself. It's very simple. It's a simple fix. And what I'm going to do to make it even easier is I'm going to leave a list of words that I can think of off the top of my head, and you'll see it pop up in a picture on the screen here, of words that once were syntaxed as non-tangible, they are now syntaxed as tangible simply because the nativity root meaning of the word is tangible contract. So therefore, if you look up a word, if you parse a word and you go back to the earliest known nativity root meaning, and that meaning is tangible, and you have a tangible contract with it, then that word is going to be syntax as tangible contract. Most notably, the verbs is and are. I used to syntax them as non-tangible mostly as adverbs, verbs, or pronouns. Not the case anymore, because when you go back and you look them up and you actually do the work, do the research, you'll find that they are tangible. What could be more tangible than the verb of the thinking? If you don't have a tangible contract with thinking, then I don't know how you're even walking around functioning. How can you do anything without thinking? Is and are the most tangible contract things that there are you know, with my perception. In any case, I'm going to leave a list. It's by no means a comprehensive list, but a list of the most common words that I used to syntax as non-tangible, but are now syntaxed, stop and correct, as tangible. And this is another example of me showing you that I'm still learning and providing continuance of the evidence for what I'm sharing with you. This is where the humility comes in. Because if you stop learning, you've closed your mind, and now you're not open to new things. So I'm sharing this with you. If you choose to participate with it, that's up to you. But remember, if you're going to continue to syntax these words as non-tangible, you're going to have to say why. And saying it's because so-and-so said so is not a reason. That's a logical fallacy. That's an appeal to authority. And it won't fly. If you're able to 
provide evidence, a continuance of the evidence to a source and verification and credentialing of why you do what you do, then there's no problem. This is mine, and I'm sharing it with you. You're more than welcome to join in and use it. Again, these are words that prior to February of 2021, I was syntaxing as non-tangible. And by non-tangible contract, quite literally, I mean non-tangible contract words would be syntaxed as adverbs, verbs, or pronouns. Or to put it in a negative condition of state, non-tangible contract words would never be syntaxed as adjectives. On the flip side, tangible contract words, of course, would either be syntaxed as verbs, adjectives, or pronouns, and to put it in a negative condition of state, tangible contract words would never be syntaxed as adverbs. So when you go back and watch those syntax videos prior to February 2021, and you see the words on this list, syntax as non-tangible, now you know. And it would affect the rest of the syntax because as, you know, in rule one rule equal judge mechanics, you got to zoom back and look at the entire picture and then you can correct it on your own. So I'm not with the volition of going back and changing everything. This is a stop and correct that applies to all of those videos in which this scenario occurs. I'm also with the vision, with the thought, consideration of creating a new set of videos, uh, much like the mini classes that you find on this channel in the playlist mini classes, and putting them on a Patreon or something where people have to contribute some sort of value to get the value of the knowledge that I share so that it's a rule one rule equal performance on a geometric level playing field. And the people who truly value it will, of course, have no problem investing in what I've invested in them by sharing these videos and this knowledge. And with my vision, it's going to be much more detailed, laser-like, on-point, up-to-date stuff. I've already created the Patreon account, but I have not ironed out the details yet. I don't know if it'll actually come to fruition. It might be a different platform. I don't know, because I'm not a big fan of the way Patreon does things. However, it's just something I'm experimenting with to see if perhaps more people will be open to this stuff once they put a worth on it and a value on it. Because I find if, if stuff's just given away for free, people don't value it. And most times when you give someone a gift, they don't, they don't really think too much of it. They just kind of dismiss it, cast it off to the side. So this will put more value on it. Perhaps. Again, it's just a thought. So having said that, please remember... Any video prior to 2020, uh, February 2021, where you see the words on the list here that I shared with you, syntax as non-tangible, that is not correct. What you need to do then is to look at the whole syntax scenario and consider them as tangible. It's not too hard once you learn the grammar. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.